Hey, welcome back to MVP Hot Wheels. This is Diesel Mac, and here's the second video of these creature wheels. Um, we've got three different castings in this that we'll go over, and their variations that I've seen. Um, I want to iterate right here in the beginning that the two uh, Mustangs over here are not confirmed variations. I did buy these off of eBay loose already, and the interior and the windows are very easy to swap out. Um, so if somebody has these still left in the baggie, I will use that as confirmation that they do exist. Um, but again, I just want to make point that out that um, these aren't confirmed. So don't go rushing over and thinking that that is because they're easy to make those interiors pop out really easy. Um, but let's go ahead and go over uh, the different variations. We'll start in the back with the Chevy Stalkers. Um, normally I don't do a lot of color stuff, but these are fairly different and enough to kind of give you like there's a lot of darkness in here. Plus when you see them on the pictures with the website, once I get them up there, uh, you'll be able to kind of determine which one you have. Um, but there is some stuff kind of in the middle, floating in the middle with different darknesses in the Tampo. Um, but this is the lighter and this is the darker version. Um, and you can see this one has a little bit more blue into it, whereas you don't see the blue inside there. And I think that's somewhat of the difference. Maybe they ran out of blue or they decided they're not going to go with blue or they added it, uh, whatever the case is. Um, but that's the, the changes. Um, the sides aren't that different, but you can kind of see there's a little bit of blue in here. So I guess it was part of the tampo on this side. Um, not so much blue in that one, but a little bit blue there. So I don't know what's going on. Um, but you can kind of, you can definitely tell a difference between uh, when there's blue in it, especially on the roof. Um, so obviously it's creature wheels. We've got these blue windows to hide the fact there's no interior because these are power command bases. Um, so those are the only variations of that I found. Like I said, you can kind of see differences um, in between these and maybe darker and maybe lighter. Um, but I just want to show the contrasting difference of those. So there's that. Um, we'll go over the, the Porsche 930s next. So let's see, let's go with the easiest one to find. Seems to be this one. Although I will say I've had a bunch of these and they almost always have a chip somewhere. Um, so you can kind of see the chip here, chip there chip here i don't know like it's hard to get one of these cars uh without any chips um it's kind of the nature i know they were you know used in the track sets the g-force track set um but yeah it's just yeah there's another chippy there um but every one that i have bought has had a chip on it somewhere um which is i don't know kind of crazy um makes it a pain to to find a nice one um so if you've got a perfect one like you've got something i would say because that would probably be the most desirable as so many of these. I've, and I've probably had 10 of these at one point. Um, and they all have a chip somewhere. And they just came that way. But anyways, we've got this nice uh, pearl white uh, paint job on here. We've got the G-Force from the set that, or play set that it comes from, or track set on. Um, here is your base. So on these, there's a, a variation within where these little dots are. And they're either connected to the axle or they're not connected you're going to see that on the green one um very minute so i can bring this in a little bit closer and you can see that there's a little bit of a connection between that circle and the little axle tube housing or whatever you want to call it um that's the variation on the base of the 930s there's also talk of that variation on the 959s as well pretty crazy that is super small compared to even the miatas um, that I was showing you in the last video, but there you go. I don't know of any, uh, v major variations for that on the purple one. This is one of the tougher ones. I was probably the toughest. The green ones are a little easier to get. Um, or maybe this is a more desirable one, but, um, we've got the same tampo set up as you got on the green ones. And you can find that in the, uh, in a basic wheel on the green ones as well. But, uh, here you go. Here's a view of this one. This one I have found without any chippies. Um, a little bit easier to find. I don't know if the paint is just nicer on this one that it holds and adheres to the, to the metal a little bit better. But um, we've got this funky green tinted windows and transparent green interior. I think that's kind of interesting. The other one had uh, almost black but tinted windows and black interior. Um, and then here is the base. And you can see that one is clearly disconnected no line in between that little dot and the axle tube um, so there could be a variation of that out there i wouldn't be surprised if there is but i don't know if i'm going to 
go after it. If I find one and I get it, I get it. If not, I'm not going to worry about it too much right now. Um, on the green ones, so kind of the same color as the Mazda Miata. You can see the difference in the uh, pink uh, in, within the Tampo. Um, this one's kind of more of a reddish dull color and you got that little, you know, brighter pink on there. Um, so kind of a difference in variations, but you can also see a little bit difference in the window. I don't know if that's just from heat or sun, um, but you can see some of those differences. So kind of a pink tinted window. And then you've got that same pink interior on the bottom here since we got it kind of zoomed in just a little bit you can see this one doesn't have any connection on it um, whereas this one definitely has that connection um, so that's that base variation i didn't go searching for it. i just happened to find a second one for cheap and it had different coloring and then i found out that there was that base variation and they just happened to have it so um very minute extremely small but porsche collectors are definitely seeking those and they'll pick them up and find out if which one uh, which base it has. All right, the next one, like I stated before, we're gonna have some pieces that may not be verified or are not verified to me anyway. Um, so but we'll go over the normal ones. So this is the uh, fluorescent yellow. Um, it does have a red tampo on the side. We have purple tinted windows with the orange Hot Wheels logo. We've got a bluish purple interior. Um, and here is your base with the Malaysia on it. Um, so the this side, if you're looking at the pictures, um, is going to tell you which uh, base you have. So the red goes with the Malaysia. The purple goes with the China. Um, and there's a China base variation that has a China stamp on it instead of it uh, casted into it. Um, and I'm still looking for that one. It'll have some numbers on it as well, I believe, that are stamped on it. Um, but the interiors are a little bit different. So you can see that. This is more of, like I said, blue-purple. You got a darker purple here. The colors themselves are just a little bit different. But when you're looking at pictures, if it's got the purple tampo, it's a China base. If it's got the red tampo, it's got the Malaysia base. The uh, China one doesn't have a Hot Wheels logo that I've seen on the window, so you can kind of tell from that as well. Um, but it stands out quite a bit from that um, coloring. These two, obviously with the red tampos are Malaysia bases, but you can see I've got a, a clear window and a tinted window. I bought these off of eBay, um, not super cheap, but not not expensive enough to that somebody was, you know, making these out to be like super rare, I guess. Um, I don't know if, how to say that property, <laughs> properly. <laughs> um, they, they were, I think, $15 a piece. Let's just go there. 15 to 20, maybe $30. Um, so not super expensive to get, but if they changed it out, maybe they made a little bit of money. But I mean, realistically, those, these Mustangs kind of go for that kind of money anyway. Um, so like I said, it wasn't out, outside the norm, um, but these interiors are extremely easy to pop out. That uh, window sits between the interior and a little peg in there. Um, and then that'll pop out and then you can change out with whatever interior, put it back together and nobody will be none the wiser um, because there will be no marks. And I've done it. I think I have a video of it. Um, so you can check that out. But once I find a tinted or clear window still in the baggie from the track set, then I will confirm one or the other, whichever it is. Um, and then we'll add those to the website. If you have those in baggy, I would love to purchase them um, and then be able to conf confirm that and put those on the website. Um, we'll go over the uh, pink one. That seems to be the more desirable one, the more flashier color, I guess. Um, everybody kind of denotes that pink color with uh, rarity a little bit, um, especially on a lot of your older uh, red line stuff and it kind of carries through. Um, so these kind of demand a little bit more money. You're probably talking $60, $65, $75 maybe nowadays. Um, nice white interior, clear window. And you can get this um, with uh, seven spokes, but it has a different interior um, in, a, in a five pack. Um, so it does have a, a similar variation without those creature wheels for this one. Um, so it's kind of cool, but it does have different interior. I think it's tan if I remember right. Um, but I can't remember. So 
but there's that one. Uh, it's really more pink than it appears on the camera. The camera uh, changes the color just a little bit as it does a lot of these uh, fluorescent colors. And we have the purple one. Um, this one is the Malaysia, of course. Um, it's got the yellow on there. You got kind of a neon yellow or, I don't know, lime green yellow interior. Um, so there's that variation. Again, excuse me, goodness. I will probably make a separate video where I show the different track sets that these all come into. It uh, starts to get a little confusing on some of them as they're intertwined in different play sets um, or track sets. Um, but I'll do my best to kind of sort all that out, have the notes available for it. And uh, that way, if you're looking for specific variations of some of these cars, we could try to find out which, uh, which track sets they come into. So um, again, we're at 477 subscribers, so 23 more to go. Um, so thank you for subscribing. Hit that like button. Here's that chance for that. If you enjoy the videos, I'll keep pumping them out. And uh, we're working our way to 500 to give away that uh, Leo Ford Escort in the background. So, um, again, thanks for watching. really appreciate it. Drop down in the comments if you have different variations or which one is your favorite or anything like that. I wish I could do polls on the YouTube for you guys. Um, I did a poll on, uh, on my Facebook page for the... Um, one of the gold collection series like the the vintage cars that were on there um so i got a, a couple of things on that maybe i'll just i'll i'll share that guy, with you guys on here as well um but yeah it'd be nice to do some polls maybe if you guys are on some other platforms um x or um i'm not on any other one so i don't know <laughs> that'd be tough um i'm on x you can find me mvp i think hwc on x or something like that um or on facebook the mvp hot wheels uh facebook group and um, you know, when you go to subscribe or, uh, request for the join, just put, you know, YouTube subscriber or whatever, and I'll let you guys in because it's, uh, kind of a private deal. We don't want everybody in there because I want legit people kind of coming in. But, uh, anyways, there you go. There's the info. Um, I'll be taking pictures of the ones I don't have for the website and adding them. So you'll be able to see them and then I'll drop those, uh, links in the description below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye.